Hey everybody, this is Andre here with the Kevin Breeze channel, and in this video, we're going to be going over top 5 reasons to buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 in 2021. Now, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 was released in August of 2018, and these days, you can get it factory unlocked for GSM carriers for under $400. For more information on pricing and availability of the phone, definitely check the link in the description because prices and availability are always changing. This link will take you right to the phone on Samsung's website, where a lot of the time, they run some great trade-in deals that you might not be able to find anywhere else. Now, in 2021, this phone is getting to be a couple years old now, so its age is definitely starting to get up there. But today, we're going to be going over some reasons why it might be still worth buying in 2021. Let's get started. So the first reason the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is still worth buying in 2021 is it has a headphone jack. Now, this might sound like a really small thing, but remember... More and more manufacturers are doing away with headphone jacks in their flagship phones and even some of their more mid-range phones too. So you're not going to be able to find a whole lot of newer phones that have a headphone jack. Whereas the Galaxy Note 9 does indeed have a headphone jack right here at the bottom. And it's really nice if you actually do want to use normal headphones to listen to music that you can still do so. These days, wireless speakers and headphones are becoming more and more popular. One might argue that they're more of the norm now, but at the same time, if you do have a pair of good old-fashioned headphones and you want a phone that's going to be able to use those but still want the benefits of a higher-end flagship phone, then this might be the device for you. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 does have a headphone jack, which is great for that purpose. Another reason why the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is worth buying in 2021 is its processor. This phone is getting 6GB of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, which is definitely a very high-end processor that's going to give you a lot of power. I ran a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on this device, and it came back with a single-core score of 510 and a multi-core score of 2186. This is definitely a very powerful processor, and whether you're just using the phone for basic activities, or you're doing more high-end stuff like gaming and video editing and lots of content consumption, no matter what the case may be, its powerful processor is definitely going to come in handy. That 6 gigabytes of RAM is going to allow you to do multiple things at once, and having such high power means you're going to be able to do a lot more intense, demanding activities that you might not be able to do on lower end phones. Even if you're doing something as simple as just browsing the web, it is going to be a lot faster thanks to all of this processing power. To put this into perspective, a lot of the phones around a similar price point to what you can currently get this phone for have maybe half of this processing power. It definitely does make a huge difference and it's going to be really hard for you to find a brand new phone around the same price that's this powerful. Another great reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the extra features that come with having a flagship phone. Now there are several different features that this phone has that even today, brand new phones that aren't flagship phones typically don't have. These features include something like wireless charging, dust and water resistance, and Samsung Pay. Dust and water resistance is definitely a big one. If you're in a situation where you're exposed to a lot of dust or if it rains a lot, whatever the case may be, it's really nice to have a phone that's more resistant to that sort of thing. And the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, along with all the other benefits of having such a high-end device, is definitely going to have more resistance to the environment than a more mid-range phone that you can get brand new at a similar price. Another feature that I really like about this phone is wireless charging. If you're in a situation where your charging port isn't working too well, or you're using it for something else, but still need to charge your phone, having a wireless charger is definitely a good benefit, because then you'll still be able to charge and use your phone for the most part, even if something's going on with your charging port. So even if you don't use wireless charging as a primary way to charge your phone, it's definitely nice to have a good backup. And then of course, Samsung Pay is becoming more and more widely used, and especially in today's day and age, it's really nice to have the option to use something like Samsung Pay instead of a normal card. And most of the phones in this similar price range that you can get brand new today don't have NFC, which is the technology that uses Samsung Pay. So you're really going to be out of luck as far as that goes. 
But with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, you will be able to use Samsung Pay, so that in itself is a really good benefit. Overall, there are many different features that this phone has that are just standard with flagship phones that you're gonna have a hard time finding in phones that aren't flagship phones. The fourth reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the display. Now the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440p, a PPI of 516, an aspect ratio of 18.5 by 9, and a screen to body ratio of 83.4%. Now this is a very high quality display that even by today's standards, mid-range phones are not going to have a quality that good. So if you're doing something like content consumption or content creation or gaming, pretty much anything that really relies on the display, then this phone is definitely going to have an edge over similar phones in its price range that are brand new. While some phones these days are a little bit bigger than the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, as far as the size of the display goes, it is going to be pretty difficult to find a Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440p, for the same price range, especially if it's a brand new phone. So although having a larger display is pretty good for content consumption as well, this phone does have a pretty large display. Even though it might not be the biggest display by today's standards, this phone does have a decently sized display and I think, and I definitely think the quality does make up for it. Having a super AMOLED display is gonna make the colors a lot brighter. The resolution is gonna make the image quality better. And overall, besides content consumption, if you're doing something like creation or games that really benefit from having better detail, then this phone is going to come in handy. Now, the final reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the software. Now, even though this phone is a little bit older, it does still have Android 10, which is really nice. Compared to a lot of other older flagship phones, this phone is definitely ahead because on most older flagship phones, you're not going to be able to upgrade to Android 10. You're usually going to be stuck around Android 8 or Android 9. So that's really great to see. Not only that, but this phone also has One UI 2.5 and the latest security patch. Now this is really great because one of the advantages that the brand new phones that are a little bit lower level than this phone usually do have over the older flagship phones is that they have the newer software in the latest everything, but this phone is really not that behind. It's still pretty up to date and has a really great software. So you're really not missing out on much by having this instead of a brand new phone. But that was our top five reasons to buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, if these top five reasons were convincing to you and got you interested in buying the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 for yourself, then definitely check the link in the description because this link is gonna take you right to the phone on Samsung's website where a lot of the time, they'll have some great trade-in deals that you might not be able to find anywhere else. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.